everybody and welcome to the flute practice. Today we're going to be looking at some tone exercises for those bad tone days. We all know them, we all get them, sometimes it's just not all working, but luckily there are some really awesome stuff you can do to at least kind of compensate or find your sound on that day. So let's go check it out. <laughs> that I would really recommend is singing and playing. For me it's the quickest fix. Very often we are tight here, this tension here that is causing our tone to sort of sound stifled and tense. But the simplest way to get rid of this tension is singing and playing. If this is new to you, I'm just going to show you a quick kind of introductory exercise how to get into this. We'll take a G just finding the pitch and I'm going to sing the G so I'm going to sing and as I'm singing I'm going to form my embouchure and let the air stream into the flute so and try it again That is uh, one of the kind of easiest ways to experience it in the beginning. This is going to want to stop as soon as you start your embouchure. So just practice this. It takes a bit of time, but you will get it. It may be easier to start with a note and then start singing. For some people this may be easier, so look like this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at, which is really great to do, is note bending. For those of you who haven't done that before, we're just going to have a quick run through of the basics. And for those of you who have done it before, it's you know good to refresh some of the basics. And then we're going to do some exercises to challenge you a little bit. So let's check it out. Okay, so note bending. Basically, it is manipulation of the embouchure. So we're also helping with flexibility of the embouchure because we're going to be manipulating it all the way down and all the way up. Let's start with bending the note down. So basically what we're going to do is the jaw is going to go back and down, the lower lips going to follow that, the upper lips going to kind of come over to bend that air stream down into the flute. We're going to drop the head ever so slightly and we're going to turn in. So down, back and in is basically your keywords here. can see how my whole embouchure almost relaxes it's a little bit like you know you kind of like oh, become Patrick in like Spongebob or something oh. sorry it was a very lame joke but it is that feeling of just letting go this is a little bit of a coordination thing so you kind of got to play around with the whole system so that it works together to let the air uh, really go down into the flute and that the pitch really drops so play around with it have some fun uh, experiment you know kind of go wild do your thing until you get it. It's one of those things you just have to play around with and, and experiment with until it becomes comfortable. And then we're going to now move on to bending up the note. So, as you can imagine, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to bring the jaw forward and up. We're going to let the lower lip follow that. We're going to let the upper lip actually move back a little bit to make space and to raise that air stream. We are going to let the head just tilt up slightly and we are going to turn out. So here it goes again. You can't bend up quite as much as you can bend down. That sounds kinky, it's not I promise you can now combine these two things. So we're going to bend down and then we're going to go up and then we're going to come back to the middle. And 
and then we end up with a long note. So. Maybe you can't do it all in one breath. That's totally fine. In fact, I would prefer you really push yourself to the extremes and take a breath wherever it feels comfortable. Ending off on that last note is really important because that is when you find that focused, centered sound which you're looking for. It's a little fun thing you can experiment, experiment with if you were good at this already. Maybe you've practiced it a lot. You want to try something else. Now what you can do is you can have even more fun and you can try and match the semitone above or below that note with the bended up or down version. So, for example, So basically what I'm doing is I'm always moving uh, just down by semitone, bending the note all the way down and then bending right up for the next note in the semitone. So you can also do this kind of like more in slow motion and really try and match the notes. So bend it down the G. Okay, so you can even try and do three chromatic notes, maybe G, F sharp, F, play them. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take G sharp, G and F sharp, and I'm going to bend them down to try and make them sound like the G, F sharp, F. So G, F sharp, D, duh, what am I doing? G, F sharp, F. G F sharp F and then G sharp I'm going to bend it down then G again so try and get those as close as you can to each other uh, just having some fun pushing the boundaries pushing the extreme seeing what you can do Okay, so the last thing that you can do, uh, you know, kind of once your turn's going again, maybe it's not, but just find something that you really love playing. So a melody that you just really enjoy, that you think is really beautiful and you like to play. So, for example... Once you've kind of got your melody going, you can now also combine this with your singing and playing again, just to, once again, as we said, this tension here, open it up. Now when I play my melody again that I love so much, it usually feels a lot better. Let's have a go. I don't know how it sounds to you, but to me it feels a whole lot better to play. Ultimately, bad tone days just call for more kindness towards ourselves. Just, you know, take it easy, don't be too harsh on yourself, and try not to get frustrated whatever you do. Rather, do fun creative exercises like these, or maybe some of your own, to break out of the habit of being frustrated and angry and like... <sighs> cool, those are my tips for bad tone days. We all have them. So I'd love to hear what you do normally, uh, what works for you. If any of these tips work for you, hack practicing, guys.